You know, folks, I got lots of questions about how should I take my blood pressure? Well, this is where I really like monitors. Now, I have a monitor on, and I'm going to just hook this up and basically put it around my left arm. And remember, it's a very important to follow the instructions to have the hand and the cuff over the brachial artery. And when you take your blood pressure, you want to have your feet on the floor, you want to think pleasant thoughts, you don't want to be talking. So when I take my blood pressure in front of you, I'm not going to talk. You plug it in, you turn it on, and basically let the, let, you let the machine do the talking. So I practice what I preach. I don't have high blood pressure. Let's just test me right here. You know, I eat a non-inflammatory diet. I get a lot of exercise. I take lights and nutritional supports. I do mind-body measures. So let me try it and see what happens. So I press the, the M, and now it's working. Let's see if it blows the cuff up. Memory one. Your systolic pressure is 105. The diastolic pressure is 63. The heart rate is 75 beats per minute. So here it is, folks. World Health Organization standards. Your blood... So here it is. My blood pressure was... Was it... 105 over 63. Well, that's a good blood pressure. That's about normal for me. I mean, I've had many life insurance evaluations, and the highest my blood pressure ever goes to is like 110 over 70, 75. I mean, so this is so this is a, this cuff is right. So, if I had high blood pressure, I would record that, bring the data to my doctor, maybe take it in the morning, in the evening, or any other other unusual circumstances. Give this information to your doctor and write it down. Try these blood pressure cuffs. They do give, give reliable information.